throw this one to the backstop and it comes right back out to the infield and now it's going to be picked up and we're going to get a play at the plate and the runner's going to be out. Can you believe that? Zanino. Everybody. Once, twice, by McClanahan. Now commit. Paredes on point. <laughs> I said at some point it flips a little bit and fly ball well hit center drifting back came Asta La Vista it's way out of here Ronald Acuna Jr. with a moonshot home run his first home run Jeff since last July and how satisfying that trip around the bases must be for Ronald show you the replay he fell down after he hit the ball, he fell down in the batter's box. And I think Ronald just showed, I think Ronald just showed you, Chip, the ball's not dead. Because <laughs> that ball just went over our bullpen about seven rows deep. Yeah, he killed it. Job, and she's such a good pitcher. I mean, 11 and 0, I mean, look at those numbers. There's a little tapper, Otani, that's a tough play, but he makes it himself to retire Tapia. It's just, he, he doesn't want to be touched. <laughs> okay. But that's that's the right play. If you're watching this at home, a ground ball like that, and the Angels have been practicing that with their first baseman. That's the play you go get as a pitcher. It's an easier play for you. Sometimes you wait for the first baseman on the flip. Maybe he wants a yeah, what is the what is going on? <laughs> Look at him! Pretty. Look at him doing this! Pretty. Come on, Jimmy! Oh. Oh. You cannot make this up. Rodriguez drives a pitch to center field. Sends Springer back. Julio off the wall. He's thinking three. Rodriguez is going for third. He'll dive in. No! <laughs> He's out at third. I just hope he didn't hurt his shoulder or something there because you can. You Julio gave us a little bit of a scare last night. Thought it was a home run at first. Then thought it was a triple until this. Trying to crawl out of quicksand to get to third base. Fortunately, Julio was not injured. He was running so fast, obviously. Took a hard spill, and you thought there might be something around the ballpark today. And in fact, there was. <laughs> I don't know who the uh, chalk artist is in the clubhouse. Well done. Yeah, very good outline there. With a little tap, that's going to be a tough play. Harrison bare hands and makes a wild throw. Over to third goes Lau, and now Rosarena heads for second base, and he avoids the tag, and he got in there. How about that for Randy Rosarena? He seemed to be running into a sure out. Well, here it is. This was trouble right off the bat because we know a Rosarena gets down the line very, very well. The rush throw by Harrison, the bare hand gets by, and now a Rosarena is going to go to second base because he doesn't think anybody's covering. Tim Anderson right here, eyes diverted. Josh Harrison calling to him because of the runner at third, and a Rosarena able to sneak by. Harris goes. Oh, throw oh, hit oh. off of either the bat or a dart. No. And gets away, so the trail runner advances. Boy, you don't see that very often. Darno did not move. It appeared as if it may have gotten the bat. And this is what the Atlanta Braves do really well. They're six for six in attempted steals to third base. And watch Darno, he doesn't move. He understands he knew. what the rules are. Quick move. Oh my gosh, it gets Escobar right in his groin area. As Sutsugo evidently fanned on the ball. I mean, he threw a heater over there, and his first baseman couldn't. Did he even make contact with it? I don't know. Everybody's laughing and smiling. That's the good part of this. The guy in the white uniform is the second most relieved. Eric and Jr.'s reaction, too, on that. It, it, it's like everybody else. Looks 1 1. And that one out to left field. Drops down, base hit. And Miller being waved. He'll score. RBI single by Seeger, and the Rangers have their first lead of the game. It's seven to seven. Oh, whoa, that really what tied that? up. That was very strange. And came off the bat. Broke his bat, I guess. 
Gonna need a new twig. You didn't like that one. Let's take a look. Wow. Oh, the knob broke off yeah, on he's the got bottom. It in his right hand. Yeah. Marcus's Iron Man ability on the diamond, and when you look at the fact that he's played the second most games of anyone over the last two seasons for. Uh oh. He forgot he was on deck. That was amazing right there. <laughs> what a timely report, dude. I mean, that is oh stunning. Oh, my goodness. You that can take him to amazing. lunch. Okay, oh, well, man. he forgot where we were in the lineup. Here he comes. Needless to say, he still played the second most games next to Freddie Freeman over the last two seasons. Line drive right field. Over the glove of Grossman. Larnick had to hold up. He's going to be held there. And the Twins have filled the bases. And now Sano goes towards second. And that forces the runner from second. And now it's thrown away. One run will score. And the Twins are going to win the game. Twice in a week. That's amazing. Sano with the base hit. Then a base running blunder, but who cares? Things are looking up. When you start winning ball games like this, you got to feel like things are starting to change after last year. That's just absolutely incredible. Uh, let's do, I mean, it's Friday. Let's do some not toss plays. That's Please. how we like to do it. Uh, we start 10 Giants ball boy uh, or ball grandpa had a tough week. First against the Marlins. He does that. Oh, <laughs> his, oh his elbow no. a little banged up. So you think he learns his lesson, but later in the week versus the Padres, ball grandpa gets uh, in front of the fall ball, and this time he falls back. Not great. He is okay, by the way. Poor craftsman blames his tools. Yeah, of course. Something of like course. that. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. his fault. Uh, MLB Padres Diamondbacks and CJ Abrams takes off and attempts to steal second base, but on the slide, he comes in a little hot, smashes his face in the dirt. Oh. He doesn't need that. No, no. <laughs> All right. He's he, fine, though. <laughs> he with the Diamondbacks taking on the Astros here. You can tell Marte. Pop, fly, left field. Chaz McCormick. Ju I mean, it, it, it hit him in the glove. Like, to be fair, it did hit him in the palm of the hey. Oh, no. You off. are killer. Collide. Nice. Rockies, Phillies at number eight. This is in the dirt. It's going to get by catcher uh, Dom Nunez. Nunez is going to track it down. And the throw attempt home is not that strong. Was it's a not dart. A, it's not as strong, but it does allow. <laughs> listen, the throw is bad, but at least it allowed another run to score. <laughs> That was a rope. All right, uh, Royals, Mariners, ground ball to shortstop J.P. Crawford. Making a nice diving grab. Uh, uh, another fine display of throwmanship. The runner comes home. That's not a word, but listen, it's early. He's going after a, a $10 baseball, and he got it. <laughs> Good thing it wasn't a Fenway. Otherwise, Splinter City. Astros, A's, ground ball. Throw over to third, and uh, safe, but blue. Somebody needs to either get in some shoes for crews, some cleats, or unwater the grass. Number seven, D-backs and Giants, Jake McCarthy struggling with the sun. Just struggling. Little old J-Mac. <laughs> Nobody calls him that, but, but he, he, listen, imagine taking on the sun. Imagine think you're stronger than the sun, the freaking sun. No, just. All right, McCarthy, we get it. Sunglasses next time. I, don't know. I think the James Webb Telescope found a more powerful star recently. I don't know. I think that star is sitting right next to me. <laughs> Padres Rockies grab ball third baseline and oh. just chaos ensues. Listen, pitchers are good to throw from home plate, or excuse me, from the mound to home plate. Don't trust them. It protects you a little. It doesn't. No. <laughs> okay, Orioles <laughs> raise ground ball into foul territory. The ball boy in a great position to make a play, but he doesn't get his glove down, the ball goes right through his oh. legs. Whoops. And he knows it. Go 100 mile per hour strike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number oh, nine. Darn. Angels Braves, Austin Riley at the plate. This one going into the uh, Angels dugout, you're like, All right, what's the not top there? Well, it's the Braves sort of, you know, clubhouse Batman, and he goes, he goes down, and we're just gonna give him the tape treatment. That's not fair. It's one thing to have to fall. It's another to have to just have it commemorated in <laughs> crime scene tape. The body's a, a touch boxy. Giants, Diamondbacks, Carlos Rodon walking down the steps and 
you, you would think that those are his teammates. Pitching coach Andrew Bailey gets caught on the backswing, oh. and then look at this dude is an absolute menace in his own dugout. Curtin Tyro Estrada supposed to lead off the inning. Wrecking crew. Astros A's at number seven. It's a nice pickoff attempt. It's just no one was there to catch it. Domingo Acevedo. It's hey, he did his job. And thank goodness Jordan Alvarez was standing there. He's a human <laughs> human backstop. But there's what's in it. It is bitter. <laughs> Marcus For some reason, I had a taste of diamond tap in my mouth. Number seven, Orioles, Blue Jays, ground ball to third and gets over to Vladdy Wagon. But the hole in his glove is a little bit too holy because the ball just goes straight through. Oh, oh actually, we're gonna have we're gonna have to restitch that lattice. I think is what. It is. I think we're staying in the Bronx. We got the Rays. We got the Yankees. Nestor Cortez throwing the ball on Kyle Higashioka, throwing it back, and he's a pitcher. He's not a catcher. He will throw the ball. There are no promises that he will catch the ball. <laughs> right, right off. That's Higashioka's job. He's the catcher. Musk and Han and regret. <laughs> All right, we got your not top plays from the week. I'll start things off from the diamond, and we have a squirrel. A squirrel is on the field between the Cubs and the Pirates, and this is no way to trap a squirrel. If you got me some fishing line, a little bit of peanut butter, I can teach you guys. Looking forward to that. In the meantime, how about you feast your eyes on the SC Not Top 10 of the week? I'll start things off. Number 10, we'll go in reverse fashion. Guardians versus the Athletics. This fan trying to make the grab, and in doing so, that's $20. All right, that's $20 of Bud Heavy all over the misses. Super sticky. <laughs> Giants and Dodgers at number nine. We got a ground ball. First base, Wilmer Flores. It's a tough spot, sort of no man's land. What are we going to do? We're going to flip it? We're just going to flip it. To who? No one in particular. And it's actually to whom. Okay, when it's following a conjunction, it's to whom. Hey, would you be an Eagle Fang or no? A what? what? Eagle Fang. Yes. Or Cobra Kai. Eagle, Eagle Fang. I can't, be Cobra. I can't be Cobra. Well, Johnny's improved. <laughs> <laughs> Socks. <laughs> Orioles. Don't. Bottom 10. Birds with two on. No outs. Robinson Chirinos laying it down, but mm. oh no. He's good at throwing it home, but not to any of the bases. That's a walk off. All right, we got three plays in one for your not top play of the week. It's the Reds and Rockies. Heavy tough lift. day for the Reds. Tough season for the Reds. Elias Diaz popping it up. Reds catcher. Mark Colesvery. Mm -mm, no. No, umpire Chris Siegel says no catch and hit the screen. Very next pitch, Diaz popping up again. This time near third. Brandon Drury is there. I said Brandon Drury's there. No, but that's because the next pitch, another, this is near the pitcher's mound. This was in fair territory. I got it. Buck Farmer. Oh. No. It's terrible. A not top 2022 for the Reds. The Howie Day. That's right. He hurts Johnny Murray. In Boston. Number okay. six, Dodgers Cubs, Max Muncy. Now, the pitch from Justin Steele is in the dirt. Wilson Contreras goes for the – accidentally hits Muncy in the Dodgers. Watch uh, out he now. Him, he hit him in the downtown business. Watch out now. In the on-deck circle. That's oh. deck mm. circle. <laughs> uh, we have Anthony Rendon uh, with a game-winning hit. was getting interviewed, and here comes the Powerade shower from Brandon Marsh and Tyler Wade. But <laughs> am I so ugly? How many jeans do I have? <laughs> Nats, Marlins at number three. Jorge Soler, little single to left, deflecting off of D. Gordon's glove. Okay, fine. Lane Thomas attempts to throw out Jazz Chisholm Jr. You can't do that. He, he, he's faster than lightning. Gets away from your Nats catcher, Kiebert Ruiz. Soler takes off for second, and this is just literally bad news bear stuff. You are killing me, Smalls. Victor Robles has to dive to keep him from going to the wall. We got a fly ball to center field. Austin Slater. He's there to make the catch, or is he Slater? Come on, Preppy. You got it. What are the sunglasses for if not to block out the sun and assist you oh, with the catch? Friends forever. DJ Steve Aoki throwing out the first pitch. Hey, yo. Send it. Key. Just send it. That's tough. That's a, oh, goodness. Don't waste it on me. You know what I mean? <laughs> got him right in the second six. You know, the old ball bag. <laughs> Soccer ball is scary. <laughs> Philly's taking on the Braves. One out, Dansby Swanson on first. JT Realmuto keeps the ball in front of him. He's a catcher, of course. Remember, he's a catcher, not a thrower. Okay, that one. Would you say it was the uh, best Boston acting since yeah, yeah. Goldberg? Or Affleck. I, or Affleck. Or Damon. Come on, give yeah. us something. Yeah. Diamondbacks, Royals, top of the second. Whit Merrifield on first. Jose Herrera throws down to second. Geraldo Perdoma lets the ball go away, and these are professional athletes, guys, but sometimes they have days like us where 
they're not good at their job. <laughs> it was I'm Silverberg. telling you. He tries to lift it, and he oh, beats his own goalie. All right, number two, game two of the World Series, JT Real Muto, grounded one up the middle, Jeremy Pena, the hero yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Think small. Think small. <laughs> <laughs> On my way. I don't know. I don't know. You, I don't know. <laughs> Yankees. I don't know. Tigers and Garcia winds up to pitch, but um, spikes it into the ground. I don't know what he was thinking. It's only crazy if it doesn't work. It doesn't. That did not work. <laughs> Sorry. We're back on the diamond. Well, we'll just stay on the diamond. Throw down to second base. John Birdie grabs it. He's going to get Garrett Cooper. What? The only thing is, is Garrett Cooper's his teammate. <laughs> He's trying to get Nick Castellanos. Wrong guy. That, yo, Garrett Cooper is six foot four, 250 of a lot of mass. It's a long fall. Yeah. Yankees Tigers, Josh Donaldson pops it up high in front of the catcher. Barhart is tracking it, but he loses it. It's the wind. Drops behind him. Oh, oh. Taylor Alexander tries to save it, uh, but can't save the play, and the ball hits the ground for the base hit. Way too That was just want. all bad. It, was, it wasn't good. I don't know what's happening there. Joe Musgrove and Chad Cool play together with the Pittsburgh Pirates, and they're in the middle of a tic tac toe game during the course of this game so far tonight. Different move every time you take the hill, and the last move is a tie, right? Yeah, it's a cat's game. Yep. A couple of reasons. It comes from the concept that a cat cannot catch its own tail, mm. just like a player. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> that has to be all over highlights tomorrow. Oh, I don't know man. how it's not. Gleyber Torres has homered and doubled. Both of his homer and his double went to right center. Of course, now a run can't score on an out. He did not want to get any part of that bug. He just got out of there. Wait, get away. Hey. He's hitting everything. <laughs> yes, he is. He's staying back with everything. With box, baseballs, and everything. Bugs up the middle. Everything's more aggressive in the Bronx. That's amazing. First pitch to... Mountcastle popped up foul. Zanino tries to track it, but it's going to be out of play. It's about five or six rows back into the field seats. And um, instead of rubbing up that baseball, it has been soaked in suds. What a gamer. A gamer indeed. Catch of the day <laughs> in more ways than one. Inside out. Fought foul. He just provided the greatest additive to a beverage. <laughs> the baseball landed in a beer cup, and he just housed the whole beer with the ball in the cup. So he's looking up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, money. And the whole thing just went on the video board and egged on by the crowd. He the right-hander, Bo Salsa. And his first pick line to left, and Austin Hayes up against the wall. What in the world just happened? It looked like tag it was him. off the wall. Tag them all. Trey's going to tag the base runner Farmer. He's out. Farmer can't believe it. Everything is a mess. This is a double play. And he owes her heading off the field. It looked like it was off the wall. It was off the wall. He caught that ball on a ricochet off the wall, which you never see happen like that. How that happened, I don't even know. Because Austin Hayes is running to his back to the infield. Ricochet right there and right into Austin's glove on a ricochet. David Bell's coming out for an explanation, but Senzel overran Farmer. Yeah, it's all messed up because Farmer thought, of course, the ball was caught in the air, so he's trying to get back to first base. This has got to be like one in a million. I mean, how does that ball? I mean, running wide open. Ricochet's back in the hazes. Out to left field. This is driven back. Guriel feeling for the wall. And he With a nice bow wrapped around it. His fifth. We said things were going the way of the Mariners, and this is another example of it. Trying to find the wall, reaches up, goes off his glove. 
position for San Diego. And a hard hit ball is going to go off of Jerry Lane. Oh my goodness, that is a game tying RBI if it does not hit the umpire, Jerry Lane, the crew chief right there. Nothing Jerry Lane could do. Well, Hobby down the left field line, and this is foul, just foul. One and two. Baez hits a high drive down the left field line toward the pole again, and foul again. Wow. Yeah, Javi is out in front of the plate. Uh, he's begging. He's begging right now for that ball to be called fair. To left field again for Baez. Did he straighten it out enough? This one is foul. Javi. What? What are you doing, buddy? For real, smiling. It. Yeah. Nice pitches. Inside and low. He's so caught up in it. That's ball three. <laughs> yeah. He didn't know it was not ball four. He's so caught up in the rivalry. He lost the count. And that's how much he likes playing the game. He doesn't get caught up no. in the, you know, just, hey, I'm just up here looking for the ball, swinging as hard as I can. A couple of loud foul balls, but okay, you know, Mickey loves it. Mickey said, oh, man, he doesn't. That's hobby being hobby. Three and two. Baez takes ball four. Borderline Barrios thought he had him, and he just missed. There's the pigeon. We were warned about that up here in the booth. Some of the guys telling us that there's a pigeon living in here in the ballpark. Strutting his stuff across the infield oh, right yeah, now. But getting back to Rodriguez, not only the power, but you saw early on the beating out the, the ball. Is this what it's come to? I can tell you the pigeon is not going to be the face of our... I'm not going to do that for the White Sox right now. I don't think I can do this. <laughs> <sighs> Fly to center field. Yes. Julio's got it. Come on! There you go, Liam. Don't throw the ball away! Julio! Julio! <laughs> Give me the ball! <laughs> Give me the ball! <laughs> I need to keep it! <laughs> <laughs> nice. I get everything open again. I gotta keep this one. I didn't get a strong out this time. Right. And Groshans hits this one down the line, and it's gone. His first career home run. Stay locked in, folks. <laughs> Be careful. Be careful. We thought we saw everything in the game, and now a new friend wants to join our party. Hello, friend. Oh, John Topango, Topango gets it. Like, I don't want to necessarily bother our feathered friend here. Ducks are very aggressive. I don't know if you know that. I don't. They're very aggressive. And we're going to keep on playing. <laughs> it's a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> the Dodgers come back and win this. They're going to have Is a that rally be the, duck. The, the rally duck, rally foul. The, the crowd was going crazy when they showed him on the big screen. Look at that thing. <laughs> that is not a small mallard either. Long drive into right field. That's down for a base hit. <laughs> Lux oh, is no. aboard. And the time run will come to the plate. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know this is an intense playoff game. We're having a blast calling it, but I cannot help but laugh at this moment. <laughs> Oh, that first of all identified as a greater white fronted goose. AJ knew that. <laughs> and he was released safely after he was captured. Play continued. But boy, is this caught on. We walked into the San Diego Padres clubhouse. There were some visitors there. And how about in Chula Vista? You'll have to see this. This went up so quickly. <laughs> San Diego Goose. Yeah, I love it. Well, this became a meme the other day, too, with the uh, picture. And David did do it today. Watch. All right, here we go. Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh. 
strike on Muncie. Oh no, okay. First, I want to report that he's okay. So, okay. Dave. Dave. Hi, guys. Hey, I do my own stunts, Tom Cruise style. I try to play it up, shacked in the pool style. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. The world gathers to watch baseball unite nations. And while the calendar says March, the baseball feels like October. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. I waited all my life, but I ain't got time to go. Check it in.